Hey there everyone, my name is Morgan and welcome back to Fortnite. So what I have for you guys today are five beginner tips to help you get started in Fortnite and make your experience easier. These are the ones that really stood out to me as things everybody should know. And if you guys have more useful tips, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Also, before we get started, I want to let you guys know we have started our own official community Discord. So if you guys would like to join it, talk with myself and other subscribers and our friends, you can join there, talk with us about games and all all that type of stuff and just have a great time the link is in the top of the description but without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into this our first tip is utilize in-game audio now some of you might be wondering what exactly I mean by this and let me go ahead and explain as you explore the world as you're on your missions there are hidden treasure chests often found behind walls in the attics of houses and there are survivors that you can rescue who will give you rewards and various resources well as you get close to a survivor they might not be on your map just yet but you can actually hear them calling out for help or making any sort of noise and you should be able to pinpoint exactly where they are this has helped me countless times as I've been looking for survivors that I heard and I didn't have them on my map I actually listened to where the sound was coming from and I was able to locate them there's actually been some survivors that are in hidden rooms underneath the floors of the houses and unless you actually know where to look you can use the sound to find them also the treasure chest make a very distinct sound as you get close to them and if it happens to be a mimic you will also hear it grow as you start to open it so in-game audio is a very important thing to use our next tip is do not let your weapons break instead recycle them before they break completely and you'll get materials back now if you let a weapon completely break its durability reaches zero you're not able to use it anymore and you'll get next to no resources back from it however if you recycle a weapon before it's about to break down completely you will get the materials back or at least a large portion of them and you'll be able to put those towards crafting your other weapons and items now I do want to let you guys know it does does not matter what the durability is it could be a brand new weapon or it could be about to break you recycle it and you will still get the same amount of material so don't let them break recycle them before they break down our next tip is something I still see quite a few people confused by as it's not really explained to you but at the same time this is probably one of the most useful items you can get through your skill tree. Once you've advanced far enough through the first skill tree you can unlock the skill that gives you the collections book. What this is is a large book that has every type of hero, survivor, defender, weapon, anything you can collect in the game can be put into here but the way this works is if you put something in here you cannot use it again so if you've got duplicates of a hero a survivor or a defender anything like that duplicate weapon schematics you can take this and put it into the book and it'll earn you experience towards your book level and you get crazy amounts of rewards for this you can get 500 v bucks you can get pinatas that are guaranteed to go gold and those give you guaranteed legendary weapons and a whole bunch of other stuff using your collection book as soon as you get extra stuff you don't plan on using duplicates anything like that putting them in there will get you some awesome rewards and you'll start making leaps and bounds and progress our fourth tip is searching special containers now as you're out in the world you have your standard things you can search the garbage cans boxes inside of houses shelves cabinets all that type of stuff well as you go into the garages the basements and even hidden behind some things in the house you'll find various types of toolboxes and special containers and ammunition crates opening these up will get you rare resources and potentially weapon schematics and other useful things that aren't in your standard loot table from looting regular things so if you guys find the big red toolboxes the short toolboxes any sort of toolbox search these they have a higher chance to give you rare crafting materials that you won't find anywhere else so when you're out searching houses and everything make sure you check every possible room every little nook and cranny for these special containers our last tip is also really important. One thing you're absolutely going to need to keep an eye on as you play the game is your inventory space. Unless you pre-ordered a larger edition of the game, you're going to start out with a smaller backpack size and it'll remain that way until you can purchase these skills within the skill tree that allow you to increase the size of your backpack. So keeping an eye on your inventory and making sure you constantly have enough space is very important. As you'll be out in the world, you'll be looting everything. You're going to be getting a bunch of gear and different supplies that you 
you absolutely need and it's gonna suck when you don't have space so I set up a few rules for myself as I was out exploring in the world if you find traps during your missions do not stockpile these instead when you get to the base building part of the mission where you need to defend the objective use all of the traps that you found during the mission next if you find weapons that you either don't plan on using or you don't already have a schematic for recycle them immediately I only use weapons that I am able to craft and that frees up a ton of inventory space if you guys have resources that you don't absolutely need right now such as flowers unless you plan on crafting things that require them go ahead and empty out your inventory keeping your inventory low will be one of the most important things you do in this game and it also sucks when you fill up your inventory and you can't clean out your backpack until you go into your home base or anything like that so keep your inventory low get rid of things you don't need and don't stockpile a bunch of junk but anyways guys those are five tips to get you started in Fortnite, and I felt everybody should know them let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and what other tips do you guys feel are very important but if you guys enjoyed today's video a like is always appreciated here at the channel and if you are new to split screen be sure to subscribe for all things Fortnite and more once again my name is Morgan thank you all for watching split screen and I will see you next time